Now as I'm sure all of you know, shiny hunting in Scarlet and Violet is pretty tame compared to the older games. With outbreaks plus sandwiches, catching shinies in this game is just plain easy. But as always, there's a catch. You, you guys see what I did there? As we've seen time and time again throughout past generations, this game also has shinies that just don't change. But the thing about past games is that there was no overworld encounters. To run into a Pokemon, you had to go through the grass and boom, Pokemon comes up on the screen even though it doesn't look different than its regular form, it'll have all these shiny sparkles coming out of it. But in this game, since there's no animation for shiny Pokemon in the overworld, if a Pokemon looks exactly the same as its regular form and you walk past it, that is simply a minus one shiny for you. GG. You fucked up, but don't worry. Me and my chat have come up with a specific list of Pokemon from Generation 9 that have little to no changes to their appearance between shiny and regular form. And guess who hunted them all? That's right, Vin D's me. Me, I, I fucking caught all of them, dude. This took forever, and I probably lost some of my eyesight doing this. But by doing this, I can be able to tell you guys what to look out for so you will never miss one of these Pokemon. And with all of that said, no bullshit. Let's get into it. Alright, let's start off this list with a pretty easy one. Wattrel. This one wasn't too hard to spot, it's just if you do see him in the daytime, he's usually flying around and the sun is all up in his feathers and shit, and it can be tough at times to see if he's actually a shiny. So, now that you know that, here's what he looks like in the overworld. Oh, is that it? I think the- Dude, what the fuck? Nah, if that thing's flying in the air by the sun, you are not seeing that shit, let's be honest. What the hell? Alright, let's catch, let's catch the side by side real quick. Nah, if the sun is, like... If you're at a distance and, like, the sun is shining, there's actually just... There's actually just no shot. Yeah, if you're at a distance and the sun is shining, that thing is in the air. Dude, there's no way, there's actually no way. <laughs> What the hell? Alright, like I said, pretty easy, not too bad. Which is a perfect leeway into our next Pokemon, Frigibax. Now it isn't that Frigibax is hard to spot per se, it's just that you barely see him, so I decided to put him on this list anyway. Now as far as I know, he only spawns on Glaciato Mountain, which is that big ass snow mountain that everybody knows, but he barely spawns up there. So like every other Pokemon on this list, I'm going to drill into each and every single one of your heads exactly what he looks like in the overworld. So on the chance that he does spawn and you do pass by him, you will know if he's shiny or not. Now when you do see him spawn and you're still iffy on whether he's shiny or not, a sure way to tell is if the little tassels on his wrist are pink instead of yellow. And you can see that in this clip right here. Oh, is that one? He looks a little- I think that's one. Nice! Beautiful, beautiful. There we are. Now being the goofy bastard I am, I completely forgot to record the side-by-side -side comparison between the shiny and the non-shiny, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on screen right now. As you can see, the color is pretty noticeable, but on the chance that you're not sure, just look at the little tassels. They are pink instead of yellow. Remember that. Alright, still in the easy tier, we move on to our next Pokemon. Sharkadet. Hot take, worst fucking shiny in this video game. They had so much potential to make this thing probably the best one in the entire game, but they, they blue eyes white dragon this bastard. Like, come on, bro. They went with eye color and eye color only. Like, I can't be the only person that finds this a little uninspiring, no? Well, like I said, just look for the blue eyes. If they're not facing you, just run up behind them. They'll turn towards you. But look how fast I got this shit. See the blue eyes. Oh, that was quick. What the f what? Okay. Well, that was so fast. It should be pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious to see which one of these are shiny and which one isn't. Very good, very good. Now, into the last Pokemon before shit starts to get a little iffy, and that is Tinkatink. Once again, pretty easy to spot, she has a brown bottle instead of a silver one, and the reason she's on this list is just she's small as hell, and in some certain lighting situations, it's kinda hard to tell what color the bottle actually is. Long story short, Tinkatink is a blue moon enjoyer, if you know what I'm saying. 
Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. Let's go, baby. Holy shit, man. Can't play hide and seek me with me anymore. Cannot play hide and seek with me anymore. This is perfect because it's at night too, so it's like... I can actually kind of see how... It's pretty noticeable though. That is pretty noticeable for sure. Even at a distance. At a distance, it's pretty noticeable. It's annoying if like you're at an angle, but just gonna make sure you watch the bottle. Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you. Every Pokemon after this was hell. So why not start with the hardest one? Tatsugiri. And I'm not just talking about one of the forms. I caught all three. Now what makes this Pokemon hard? Ho <laughs> ho, oh, dude. Where do I even start? Well, for starters, the Outbreak, even though it shows a different form on the map, will only spawn the curly form, meaning that you have to catch the other two forms via encounter power from Sandwich. Two, the shiny designer of this Pokemon must love inflicting CBT, because they decided to make one non-shiny and two of the shinies the same goddamn shade of orange. And to top it all off, this sussy fuck is like one pixel on your entire monitor. So along with my horrible eyesight, I basically had to nose to screen every single orange top Tatsugiri to see if it was shiny or not. Oh, and one last thing. This thing knows memento. So please, please, if you see this thing shiny in the wild, save before you encounter it. Is this even possible anymore? I'm so used to getting the sh outbreak shinies instantly, dude. But this one, this one has a special place in my hatred. Oh, that has to be it. That has to be it. Oh, wait, this thing can explode, can it? Wait. Run and save? Don't despawn. Oh! We did it! Mate! Yes! Dude! Let's fucking go, dude! Nice! Nice! We also have to catch a regular one so we can put it side by side. Alright, that's one down, chat. That is one down. Okay, now. We just have to pop encounter sandwiches and do a little bit of praying. The, 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 the way this goes best, right, chat? The best case scenario, we, we, we just get both of the ones that we need. The worst case scenario, or the, I, would, I would say the mid case scenario, right? Is we get a shiny of something else, like a Swablu or a Sligu. Uh, I won't be too mad at that. The worst case scenario is we get the same fucking shiny that we already got. That would probably cause a hole to magically appear in my monitor, I should say. It'll just magically appear there for sure. No! No! Dude! That's not what I need! My odds are gonna get fucked. My odds are gonna get fucked because of this, bro. Okay, surely I get insane odds regardless, right chat? Surely, right? Surely, it did, like that did not reset my odds back to like 1, right boys? Dude, if that reset my Tatsugiri odds to 1, I'm gonna freak out. And if I get the brown one again, somebody's getting banned in my chat. Via Nightbot giveaway. I fucking love this song, bro. Run. Chat, just run. Just run now. Lock your doors and run. Just like, yeah, I, it's not safe for you guys anymore. You guys need to run. Somebody's getting hurt. Somebody's getting hurt. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. Die, please. Get out of- go away. Out of my sight. If I get- if I get another one. If I get another one. That- that is mental break. That is mental break. Dude. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Who's fucking dying? <laughs> Who's dying, bro? <laughs> someone's getting hurt. Someone's getting hurt. Someone's getting hurt. I- I promise someone's getting hurt. Dude, why? 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 What are the odds on that? One in three, plus the shiny odds. What are the fucking odds on that? Wait, is that is it dead ass 0.000525? Is that actually like the odds of what just happened? The three wrong shiny in a row? 0.00525. Oh, I'm so lucky. Nah, chat, 
Should just go buy a lottery ticket, no? Five! Yes! Yes, dude! Oh, I have to save. I have to save. I have to save before he kills himself. Yes! Oh my god! Get back here, you little shit. Oh my god! Yes, dude! Oh my god! Yes! Let's fucking go, dude. How much longer on Samuel? Three minutes on Samuel. Surely we get the last one. Next 10 minutes, you're gonna dupe again. Watch. Why you, got, why you guys gonna say that? Simply, why must we say this? That was a shiny Swablu. We're just gonna keep going. I choose to ignore that because because in my mind, it wasn't shiny. So therefore, I have control over my eye, my own life. And that was not a shiny. Schrodinger Swablu. If I don't observe, it does not exist. Oh! Oh! Oh, I didn't save! Oh, I didn't save! I didn't save! The single memento. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I can, I can leave, I can leave. Oh. 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 Yes! Yes, dude. Oh, it's over. It's over. Oh, I didn't think he existed. Dude, look at these three shits. If you're at a- Dude. Okay, I guess the brown one's not that bad. But look at these two. Look at these two. Holy fuck. Look at these two. Dude, tell me at a distance you would not be able to tell. Holy shit, yeah. Alright, well, here's the differences. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, bucko. Slow down there, bucko. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold it right there. It came back. It came, it actually came back. Whoa there, buddy. Come back here now. Slow it down. All right, on to the next demon that lives in my wall. And that Pokemon is Tandem Mouse. Now, after that Tatsugiri hunt, this Pokemon was not that bad. Now, what makes Tandem Mouse hard to spot? Well, for one, it's small as hell. And you would think something this small has a pretty noticeable shiny form, right? Nope. The shiny form of this Pokemon goes from insanely white blue on white mouse to insanely white brown on white mouse. Now I'm gonna be honest, you're probably gonna run by this thing because there is zero way to spot this shiny. So if you love mental pain like me, you can go about hunting this thing in two ways. One, you can just throw your Pokemon at any tandem mouse because your Pokemon will refuse to kill a shiny in go mode. Or two, you can use your eyeballs even if you have horrible eyesight like me and just look for the color. I went with the latter and here it is. <sighs> Wait. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah! Yeah! There's a goddamn side by side. Can barely tell, bro. Dude, it doesn't even look like they have anything on right now, dude. But you can see just barely that it's brown and not blue. Alright, and for our second to last Pokemon, we have none other than Tauros. Now, big surprise to me, once I figured out the trick to actually seeing if this Pokemon was shiny, it wasn't that hard. So basically, the color palette of Paldean Tauros is a black mane with a grey body. And the shiny form basically just inverts those colors. But with the lighting in this game, especially at nighttime, this shit is still impossible to see. So the foolproof way I came up with seeing if this Pokemon is shiny or not is to just look at him from a bird's eye view. It just sets the lighting in a way that just makes it impossible to see if he's not shiny. This trick actually ended up helping me catch three shiny Taros from one outbreak, so I'll show you guys what I mean right now. God, from a distance it looked the same! Fuck! Wait, is that it? Is that it? Woo! Woo! How? How did I- How does he do it? How does he do it? Oh my- god oh my god how did i do that don't ask me don't ask me how i did that i have no fucking clue that was the mo that was a wild guess 
That was a wild fucking guess. Oh my god. It's all one. Fuck off. Wait, 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 wait. That is one. That is one. Right there, right there, right there. Look at the chat. That's one. I see him. No, he's right there. He's right there. I can see him. I can see him. He's coming up. He's coming up, chat. No, no, no. He's gonna despawn. Stop. Stop. He's right there. He's right there. He's looking at me. No, he disappeared. Oh god. Oh god, chat. Oh god. Oh god. No. Oh, he came back. Oh. Oh. Dude. Holy shit. Professional spotter chat. Let's have to sit on the picnic real quick. Oh, actually works like a charm. See, with this, you can easily see which one is not shiny. Five head, dude. All right, and for the last Pokemon here, we have Tadbulb. Now, surprisingly, for this Pokemon being one of the hard mons to spot, it is actually one of the ones you can see at a distance. Now, let me explain that real quick. Regular Tadbulb is orange. Shiny Tadbulb is red. Now the top of his head is always going to be yellow, but the tip of his tail is very vibrantly red or orange. Red being shiny, orange being regular. And if you look real closely, you can actually see if it's either red or orange from a distance. Given this Pokemon is small as shit, so it would be easier to get closer, but if you're just running past and you just see red from a distance, just run up to it, it will be shiny. <laughs> Wait. Whoa! I don't know if you can- Oh! Wait. Oh! Holy shit! That's him! That's him, dude. Real shit. Yep. Look at that. Now, now look how noticeable it looks. Yep, just hard focus the tail, chat. It's a tail angle. You see that? See that? See how noticeable it is? Oh, let's go, my. Well, there it is. All the hardest shiny Pokemon in Gen 9 in one video. Now, I don't ask for this a lot, but this video did take a lot of time and resources, so if you could leave a like and a comment, it would help me out greatly. And while you're at it, why not subscribe? I love interacting with y'all. Fucking love my community. You guys mean the world to me. Thanks for all the support on all the previous videos and stuff, and on Twitch. Appreciate you guys. But that's going to be it for this video. I was thinking about doing this for the other gens, but I don't know if I have the will to do it yet. But if you guys do want another video like this, just let me know. I'd be down. Other than that, that's going to be it for me. I'm out this bitch. Deuces. Okay, you can have it. You can have it. Hey, man. Pranger called dibs first. Pranger called dibs first. It was a dibs angle. If I catch another one, then you can have it. But, like, no way I'm that unlucky to catch another brown one.